Hello, hockey fans. King Ikibu coming to you live from the underground bunker. Once again, we are going to play some Inside the Crease Hockey, the greatest hockey game on the market. And we are going to play the third period between the 1967 Oakland Seals and the 1967 Los Angeles Kings. This game, as I said, is going to be picked up in the third period. Just like in Western Canada in the old days with Hockey Night in Canada, they always... Well, they start at the beginning of the second period. You never saw the first period in the West. And uh, so this is Hawaii, extreme West. You only get the third period. It looked like uh, the Kings were going to run away with it early. They scored at 7-12 of the first period. Ted Irvin, his fifth on the power play from Bill White and Lowell McDonald. And then Bill White himself scored his third of the year at 11.48 from Brian Smith to make it 2-0. And then Teddy Irvin, his second goal of the game, his sixth of the season from Lowell McDonald at 14.05, made it 3 to nothing Kings. And it looked like it was going to be a blowout. But then the Seals, the mighty Seals, came back and came to life. Started just a minute later, George Swarbrick, his eighth of the season from Larry Cahan and Ott Erickson to get the Seals on the board. And you thought, oh, well, that's nice. They got a goal. But then the second period, they took charge. Larry Cahan himself scored his first of the season from Ott Erickson, his defensive partner, to make it 3-2 to two at 3.36 of the second. And then Elaine Caron, his second of the season from Mike Lawton and Jerry Adrosky at 16.43, completed the comeback, and it's now 3-3. Three to three. The Kingsdale Rolf take, took a penalty late in the second period, but the Kings... Killed it off. There's only seconds left as we start the third period. Starting for the great and mighty Oakland Seals. Jerry Eamon is at on the left wing. Billy Harris at center. Bill Hickey at on right. Kent Douglas and Larry Cahan are the defense partners. And for the Kings, finishing off this penalty kill. Real Lemieux on the left side. Gord DeBossier. On the right side, Bob Wall and Bill White, who is just a tower of power for the Kings on the back line. Why did the Kings ever let him go? I don't know. But he went to the Blackhawks a couple seasons after this. And uh, that's how we will begin. Here's the face-off. So it's left defense visitor, but La, Boss La Bossier. Uh, got the face off. It goes to Bob Wall, and the penalty is over. So we will put the first lines on. And the Kings start up the ice, but Bobby Bond forces it in. And then he gets the puck behind the net. It's not taken away, so it's a shot on goal from Kent Douglas from the blue line. It's a good shot and a rebound. Offensive rebound. Goes to Bill Hickey. Shoots. Nice save by Rutledge, who's in goal. Wayne Rutledge. And the rebound goes to Dale Rolf. Charlie Burns takes the puck away. It goes to Kent Douglas who gets the puck battle. He's hit by Dale Rolf. Loosens the puck, but Charlie Burns picks it up. In the king zone. Interception, no. 23, a pass from Burns. And then the change lines go to the second line. Interception, no. 39, Billy Harris makes a great pass. Over to Larry Kay and he shoots. And it's off. The stick of Rutledge and into the crowd. We have a face-off in the Los Angeles end. 3-3 three, three tie. 18 minutes to go. Third period. There's no overtime. The Oakland Seals have a record of 4-7-1. and one. I believe they're in fifth place. And the Kings are in second place with a five wins, five losses, and two ties. And Billy Harris is knocked out of the face-off circle. So it's try it again. He's already knocked out. So Bob Wall gets the gets the puck after the faceoff. No hit. 31. It's a pass from Amaggio. Amaggio over to Wall. It's not forced in. He passes it over to Lowell McDonald. It's taken away by Gary Eamon. He's hit by Bob Wall. Crushed into the boards. And Ott Erickson gets the loose puck. No interception. 14. Here's a shot by Swarbrick. 
And it's saved easily by Rutledge, and he gives it to Bob Wall. And they go put on the third line. Third line, it's not. Lawton misses the check. Here is Brian Campbell with a nice pass over to his left winger, Brian Smith, who takes the shot. It's blocked by Caron. And the loose puck goes to Mike Lawton. There's a possible penalty. Is there a penalty? Yes, there is. Jacques Lemieux goes to the penalty box. Two minutes for tripping at 425. So the Kings are on the power play. The number one penalty power play unit will hit the ice. And here's the face-off to the left of Rutledge. Face-off goes to one bike Billy Harris to Eamon. Eamon. No takeaways on the power play. So it's going to be Kent Douglas with the pass over to Bill Hickey with an excellent shot. It's blocked by Bill White. And the puck, loose puck goes to his partner, Dale Rolf. No centerman, so the puck goes to Billy Harris. And no takeaway. 16 is given away. Almost a breakaway by Laboisier. But he gets the puck instead. Not forced in. 25, Dale Rolf. Ices the puck, and the second power play unit will go on the ice for the Seals. 17, Swarbrick with a shot! And it's not, it's a wide shot because the defensive forechecking of the Kings is zero, so even if it had been on goal, it would have been wide. If it would have been a goal, it would have been wide even. Okay, loose puck goes to Amaggio. Maggio's not hit. 26. He's going to ice the puck. Excellent penalty, penalty killing for the Kings. So 20, 18, 16, 14. The number one line is back on the ice. No penalty. 11. This goes to Wally Boyer. Shoots. Easy save by Rutledge. And the pass goes to Real Lemieux. No interception. Puck goes to Dale Rolf. He's going to make a nice pass over to Eddie Joyle, who shoots. Not blocked. And it's a rebound. And it's taken by Wally Boyer. Another penalty possibility here. We will check that now. It's higher than 30. If it would have been 34, we would have had a misconduct. But it's higher than 34, so there's no penalty. They will have a face-off to the left of Rutledge. Face-offs won by Eddie Joyle. He's hit by Bobby Bond. But Flett, Wild Bill Flett gets the puck and we change lines. Goes to the second line. It's taken away by Gary Eamon. Eamon. And the puck is picked up by Larry Kay and he's going to take a shot. And it's a goal! Larry Kayan had his first goal of the season in the second period and now he has his second. And puts the seals up 4-3. to three. And he can't assist on his own, so we hit. I, my, the way I played is I hit the assist button once. Centerman, six. Harris is a seven, so he gets the assist. And Swarbrick, his assist as well. Larry Cahan with two goals in the game. He's played how many games? He's played all 11 games. This is the 12th game, and it takes him 12 games. And he finally gets a goal, and then he scores two from the blue line. And puts the Seals ahead with 11 minutes and 40 seconds left in the third period. Let's see if the Kings can come back. Here's the face-off at center ice. Labossier gets the face-off. And it's not taken away. Goes to four. Amagio shoots. N nice shot. It's not blocked. But it's a great save by Charlie Hodge. And Ott Erickson gets the rebound. Here go the Seals. Seals into Los Angeles territory. And he's going to... Goes to Eamon. He passes it. It's not intercepted. He passes to Larry Cahan at the blue line. Cahan, he passes it. But it's taken away by Bob Wall. And they change lines. The Kings playing in desperation. No penalty. Here's Bill White. He's already scored today. But does not score here. It's an easy save by Hodge. Pass over to Adrowski. Not intercepted. Ron Harris with the puck. He passes it. And it's hit by Bill White. Bill White gets the loose puck. 
26, Brian Smith passes, no interception. 23, Lemieux passes, no penalty. 38, it's a Brian Campbell with a lovely pass over to Bill White. He shoots, and it's not blocked. It's a 67. It's a save by Charlie Hodge. It's, he has 29 shots on goal against him today. He's made 26 saves. Face off to the right of Hodge. Here's the face off. And the faceoff is won by the Kings over to Lemieux. And they put the first line on with eight minutes to go. And the Kings down by one at home. Not taken away. 18 pass by Real Lemieux. No penalty. 18. There's a shot by Wild Bill Flett. He shoots. It's a nice shot, but a save by Hodge. And Real Lemieux is going to get the rebound. He takes the shot. 17. Another nice shot. And it's finally... Gobbled up by Kent Douglas. Taken away by Flett. They're putting the pressure on now. But it's intercepted by Charlie Burns. Dale Rolf gets the interception. Not taken away. 35 pass. And it's a line change. The second line comes on for the both teams. Not intercepted. 18 pass by Amaggio. Not intercepted. 39. Lowell McDonald with a nice pass over to Bob Wall. Shoots not blocked and it's a save by Hodge who hangs on and slows down the action and allows his team to get organized face off to the right of Charlie Hodge here's the here's the drop of the puck and it's won by the king over oh, the seal Zeman gets the puck there's a possible penalty this would be devastating for the Kings it is a penalty on Amaggio for slashing no misconduct and if it was four or higher for Ott Erickson, he'd be sent off too. But he's not. He's a three. So it's another power play for the Seals with 520 left. That is bad timing. And you know that he's going to get a talking to after the game. Bill White will come on. To, oops, that's the wrong one. It's the Seals with the power play. Amaggio comes off and White will come on to kill the penalty. Boehm, Burns, Swarbrook on the ice for the Seals. Ron Harris and Bobby Bond, who scored a huge goal in the Stanley Cup Finals on a broken leg. I think it was the game, the series winning goal with a broken leg. How many people in the world could say that? Anyway, it's a face-off. 520 left, third period. Seals up by one. And it's face-off one by Burns to Bond. There's hit by Bob Wall, but Bond gets the loose puck. And it is not intercepted, and it's a shot by Charlie Burns. And it's saved by Rutledge, and he hangs on. 440 left. 1 minute 20 seconds left in the penalty to Amaggio. Face-off one again by the Seals. And this time it's intercepted by Bill White. And they're going to change lines on the fly. And Bill White will ice the puck. It's not a loose puck hit. So it's 20. Eamon's going to shoot. Wide shot forced by Labossier. White with the loose puck. And it is not intercepted. There's no assist if the, fa the four checking zero, which they do. But anyway, it's an icing the puck. Penalty is over. Now it's time for the Kings to get on the offensive. And the third line is on the ice. It's not forced in. 33, Lawton passes it, wasting time. Not forced in. 17, Caron, he has a goal tonight. He shoots. Nice shot, 15, but it's forced wide by Bill White. And Brian Smith gets the loose puck. Not taken away. 16, pass. Go to the first line. They're going to think about pulling their goalie soon. They can only do it, I think, at 140. 140, 120, we'll see. It's not intercepted. 22, pass. Okay, let's see if we can pull the goalie. No, we have to wait till 120. Anyways, taken away by Bobby Bond. He was taken away. Okay, now we can pull. Come on, we got to be able to pull the goalie now. Bill Flett. I mean, I got to put it back to Rutledge. Okay, now we can pull the goalie, perhaps. Yes, pull the goalie. Who should we bring on? Extra skater for the Kings. Uh, let's see. 
Not, he's, these are defensemen. Lowell McDonald? Let's see what he looks like. Lowell McDonald. Yeah, he's good. All right, Lowell McDonald, the extra skater. Loose puck, he's hit by Bobby Bond. But look, Dale Rolfe gets a loose puck. Not taken away, 31. They got to get a shot on goal here. Force dump in. One, he forces it in. And Hodge leaves it for Bobby Bond. They can't get anything going, the Kings. 36, they're going to clear the puck. And that's the end of the third period. Oops, we got some Alienware Command Center close. Anyway, the game is over. And even though they lose the game, Bill White was the first star of the game. Larry Kahn with the winning goal was the second star. And George Swarbrick, the third star. And the Oakland Seals win on the road over the Los Angeles Kings, coming back from a 3-0 deficit to win the game 4-3. Here's the statistics. See the shots on goal for the game. The Kings had 32. The Seals had 22. Charlie Hodge was excellent in the Oakland net after the 15-minute mark of the first period. He was flawless. Wayne Rutledge, you cannot say the same. And what else stood out? Bill White almost had 40 minutes on the ice. That's probably why he's a first star. Although Larry Kane with two goals and one assist for three points from the blue line was amazing today. So we're going to save the game stats. Yes. And we'll give you the... Oh, I got to save. The, I like saving the box score. Here we go. We got to save box score. And close the game. And now we will see, we will shut down and show you this up-to-date standings. All right, up-to-date standings, view standings. For the 1967-68 season, we can see now the Kings, they were Two points behind the first place Penguins, hoping to tie them, but they could not do it as Oakland, who's in fifth, but it's such a tight race. That's why I enjoy this season, because it's anybody's division in the Western Division of the NHL. Although the real Western Division champions, the St. Louis Blues, are 0-8-2. They're just waiting to get uh, Red Berenson. Once they get Red Berenson on their team, then probably they'll start to win. Until then, they are struggling 0-8-2. They've scored only 16 goals and given up 32 and two points on the season. And I believe, oh, I shouldn't, let's see, what we can tell, what how they get their points. They tied Montreal and they tied Minnesota. So that's quite the feat to tie, tie Montreal. But that's all they have gotten this season. But the Oakland Seals win their fifth game to seven losses and a tie and have 11 points, which is excellent for them. You see in the Eastern Division, the old original six, Detroit and New York tied for first place with 17 points and the Boston Bruins only a point behind, but they played three fewer games than Detroit and two fewer games than the Rangers. And then you have the team struggling for that last playoff spot, the Leafs, who are the defending champion Leafs, Something you cannot say for the last 53 years. No, how many years? 40, oh, 50, yeah, 53 years. You cannot say they're defending champs. Um, and they're in fourth currently, but the Blackhawks are ha a point behind them. The Montreal Canadiens. So the, the real Stanley Cup finalists, the Canadians and the Blues, are both in last place in their respective divisions. And uh, if we want to go now to the... Individual statistics, we can see here that uh, the point leader is Gordie Howe. He had, in 12 games, he scored 13 goals, thir three on the power play, one shorthanded goal, and eight assists for 21 points. His line mate, at least for the moment, or his teammate, Paul Henderson, he'll be traded to the Leafs for, for Frank Mahovlich in a few months but uh, he is second in scoring at 15. Then Phil Goyette of... Uh, what team does he play for? Oh, slips my mind. 
who he plays for. Uh, he's third with 14 points. And Norm Allman, who also comes to the Leafs. So really, this trade doesn't look very good for the uh, Red Wings to give up their two top scorers, Henderson and Allman, for Frank Mahovlich, who is way down in the scoring race with nine points in 10 games. So maybe they shouldn't have made that trade. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, we can look at uh, Goyette. Maybe I can find out who he plays for here. It's going to bug me. Uh, not them. Goyette. Goyette. Who do you play for, Goyette? Uh, it's, I don't know. We got a... It's not them. It's not them. Not Boston. Is it Chicago? No. They, they, they're doing horribly. It's not them. Is it? Nope. Uh, Minnesota? No. Is it? Oh, is it New York? Yes. The Rangers. Phil Goyette of the Rangers, 14 points in 11 games. Jean Rattel with 13 points in 11 games. Bob Nevin. So that, and I can sleep. I can go to sleep in peace knowing who Phil Goyette played for in 1967-68. Well, this has been NHL Hockey Week, and I will say it again, this is the greatest Hockey game on the market inside the crease. And the final score once again, the come from behind victory for the mighty Oakland Seals who win over the Los Angeles Kings in Los Angeles by a score of four to three. This has been King Ikibu signing off. We'll catch you next time. Goodbye, everybody.